Amen. Bar is open. So let's review the aviation gym. I did. SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today we'll be looking at this aviation gin, mostly made famous by a certain Ryan Reynolds. And unlike Mr. Hugh Jackman, I will not be pouring this all over the table. I will be reviewing it in three ways. Number one, I will taste it neat. Number two, I will have it shaken with some ice. And number three, I'll be having it on the rocks. And this aviation gin is retailing at around 114 Singapore dollars per bottle. For that, you will get a 700 ml bottle with 42% alcohol content. And this is a batch distilled from grain. Uh, with an adventurous blend of spices from around the world. It's not much other labeling beyond that, but it's just a nice, beautiful bottle. Um, the lines at the back, you know, just gives you a very aviation feel, a very airplane feel, old school plane. So packaging wise, it looks beautiful. So that's the review before my ice melts. And as mentioned, I'll be having it neat. So we'll start by having a single shot of it because I don't drink that much actually. And when I drink gin neat, uh, not just gin, but whiskies and vodkas as well, especially having it neat, I will tend to exhale, take a sip, swallow it obviously, and then breathe in and out through my nose to let the flavor float about more. Right, so taste test one. Unlike some other gins, this doesn't have the alcohol burn down the throat, but the burn is very pronounced coming down. This will keep you warm, that's for sure. Uh, Taste-wise, I can smell and taste a bit of that juniper, you know, it's usually a main, uh, one of the main ingredients for gin. It's there, but it's not very loud, you know, it, it doesn't shout out at you. In fact, it comes across as a little bit spicy. Some gins are floral, uh, some, some gins are fruity even. This is definitely a spicier gin, but it's not dry. So drinking this neat is quite enjoyable. But now, let's have it shaken with ice. And I shake it for about 10 seconds, you don't need anything more than that. You just want it chilled and, and having the gin open up a little bit with the shaking. Fresh cocktail glass. Taste test 2. Now having it chilled, you don't have to do the exhale, sip, and then inhale, exhale again. Uh, it's already chilled, so it tends to reduce the alcohol burn further. So you can just sip it like you would a cocktail. Shaking it this way, removed a lot of flavors. The burn is definitely gone, you know, there's nothing burning me whatsoever, but it removed a lot of flavors. It, re it reduced it to a very original gin flavor without any spices added. So to put it simply, shaking it made it basic. Um, so for the aviation gin, I don't recommend that. But let's see how having it on the rocks will taste like. So I am using a bigger glass with a, a nice beautiful ice ball as well. You can use normal ice cubes, you want to use crushed ice, it's all up to you. Personal preference, no right or wrong answer there. But because I'm using such a big glass and, and you know with the ice, I just have to use a double shot. I don't actually want to, but what can I do? Anyways, Taste test tree.
Having the aviation gin on the rocks, to me, is perfect. The full flavour of the, the herbs and spices are in my mouth right now. There's actually a very nice aftertaste slowly trickling down the back of my throat. And the alcohol burn that I had meat is greatly reduced coming down. It's still there to let me know I'm still drinking 42% alcohol content drink, but it's so much more comfortable compared to having it in meat. So to choose between meat, shaken with some ice or on the rocks, my personal recommendation for this aviation American gin is on the rocks. Hey there, I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste, preferences and opinions. They're not to be used as an industry or legal standard. So, you know, Mr. Ryan Reynolds, uh, please don't send lawyers after me. I do, however, want to find out what you think about the aviation gin, whether you prefer it neat, um, shaken or on the rocks. Drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. And if you're still here, do help me click on the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell because I upload two new videos every week. And if you know of anyone who would like to watch such reviews, do send the link to the video as well. Most importantly, my friend, happy drinking!